Hello and welcome to the Empyrean Galactic Survival Farming Guide. Okay, now basically we've got many, many, many ways of uh, producing food within the game. Uh, we can go hunt monsters, um, we can collect drops from uh, various NPCs, or we can go ahead and do a little bit of farming of our own. So I'm just going to whiz through very quickly the concepts of farming. Um, and once you've got to grips with it, you'll soon be growing your own crops of food that you can pick off, pop in your inventory, and then go ahead and have a little munch. Lovely. This sort of uh, food gathering is ideal for uh, perhaps your large capital vessel um, or perhaps on planets where you know this food is scarce, who knows. But anyway, let's start with our very basics then. So the first thing we need to do is create farming plots here. And in order to do that, we are going to look at creating a growing pot or plot rather excuse my uh, teeth okay so I'm gonna put together maybe a couple of those and uh, obviously you need to make sure you've got all the various uh, prerequisite materials in this case metal plate fiber and a nutrient solution once you've got the materials together you pop your growing plot and there we have our growing plots okay the next thing you're gonna need are some seedlings or sprouts um, I've already got a few here in my inventory and the final ingredient we're going to need are plant grow lights now these are special lights that are used uh, to grow your crops without the uh, the grow lights your crops will not grow so now we have all of our various ingredients that we need first thing we need to do is consider where everything needs to be placed now you'll see that my grow lights are in fact about two blocks high um, that's because and uh, I can show you just very briefly here if we place them simply one block high as you'll see only one square there is lit up what we're looking for ideally is a five square light up and uh, by placing that one there as you can see we've uh, lit up a square here here one ahead there one just here and one just here okay so now we have our grow light in place the next thing we need to do is make a little bit of room to place our growing plots so one two three okay so now we've made a bit of room Let's go ahead and place our growing plots. One, two, three. And finally, we need to think, right, what do we want to plant? So in this case, we're going to pop some durium. One there and one there. And a tomato in the middle. That is it. Uh, it really is that simple. As long as you've got the light, and obviously you need the power in your base to, uh, you know, supply the light with power. Um, the growing times will vary uh, depending on what you're planting. Uh, for example, uh, your tomato growth time you can see there is 30 minutes. Uh, the durian root there also is 30 minutes. Um, other items, tomatoes, wheat, just countless really uh, you know corn uh, you know some of these will take a, a bit longer uh, pumpkins for example um, but essentially that is is all you really need to be uh, to be growing um, now currently uh, a lot of uh, the food items are pick and they're gone for example there's our tomatoes now in our inventory but now the plot is empty so uh, we can reuse that and again there and again with the corn so now we have three empty plots that we can then use all over again and in this case we're going to pop just some tomatoes in there and we'll leave them to grow now other plots for example our space durians here we can pick those however the plant still remains 
therefore we do not need to replant and they will regrow another space durian. Likewise with the pear thing fruit we can pick the pear thing fruit and again you'll see all these items are appearing in my inventory which is fantastic. Um, again the plant stays and we can just keep picking a bit like you would berries off of a bush. So again it's just getting your head around uh, you know which ones you know will yield sort of pickable and which ones will yield takeable that that's the way that I distinguish between the two so again tomatoes will be a takeable whereas a pear thing fruit will be a pickable okay um, that is that's pretty much it that's your guide that's all you need to get started with um, happy farming and uh, yep keep your tummies full and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye bye now